Hi, I'm Mike Harris from Bison. I'm the sales director, and this afternoon I brought in three of our most popular lathe chucks to show you how they all work. Okay, the three chucks I brought in today, which are our most popular ones, are the steel 200 millimeter chuck, front mounted, which means you can put an adapter plate on it. It's got one piece jaws. The great thing with a recess chuck is, there's the adapter plate. So you can put any mount of adapter plate on. Fit it to the machine, and then fit the chuck, and it fits straight through, bolt on. The same with this second chuck, which is the same as this, but this is with two piece jaws which some customers like for variations. It means you can have the hard reversible jaws or you can put soft top jaws on. If you're doing batch work, it means you can have sets dedicated to certain diameters. The last one over here is a direct mount chuck, which means no adapter plate is needed. It's got one piece jaws and with this one, the studs are already on the back, integral adapter plate, which is that one, is cam lock. The three most popular chuck mountings in the UK are what I brought in here, which is the Camelot mount, which is DIN 50229, with the studs on the back, so it goes directly onto the machine and you just bolt through onto the cams. The others are what we call the A-type, which is an American standard. Those are just basically cap screws and nuts, similar to what the arrangement you've got here. And then the last one really is what we call the C-type, the bayonet type, which is using studs and nuts. But the camlock mount is the most popular mount on machines in the UK. And the question is on these sort of chucks, what jaws do they come with? With the standard chuck, which we have here, which has got one piece jaws, that chuck comes with a set of hard of inside, set of hard of outside jaws, mostly for gripping inside, inside like tubes, on the gripping outside as well, which you grip on the step. And that sort of setup is for gripping the inside. On this chuck, which has two piece jaws, it's got hard reversible jaws on there, as is shown here. Good thing with this is that if you wanted to change over to soft top jaws, use this unbolt, soft jaws, which means you put straight on. That's if you're doing different types of diameters, so you can just ground to suit whatever product you're holding. The other thing to take into consideration when buying a lathe chuck is do you want it in cast iron or steel? It's the down to speeds really, because with cast iron on this sort of size of chuck, the revs you're looking at is 3,000. But if you go to steel, you're up to 4,000. So steel is the most preferred one. It also gives you longer tool life. The other question people would ask, why choose Bison chucks? Well, the first thing to say is, it's because Bison is one of the biggest suppliers of lathe chucks worldwide. Last year, we sold over 200,000 lathe chucks throughout the whole world. Also with each chuck, it has its own individual serial number. In the box, you will have a certificate for that chuck. It will have that serial number, and it's signed off to show that that chuck works within the DIN standards required for lathe chucks concerning run out and speeds. The other thing is each chuck in the box, it will have this instruction leaflet, booklet, whatever you want to call it, tell you how to fit the chuck, where you get spares, run outs, speeds, the lot. So you can be confident when you buy a bison chuck, traceability, it's yours.